Maybe if I eat it quickly, it won't be as spicy. That's quick maths. Oh, I'm sweating so much. Hey, all you cool lab rats and kittens. It's Dairy Baskins here of Lab Shenanigans. And today's episode is gonna be a little spicy. Spicy. Ooh, it's gonna be a little spicy. And by spicy, I'm talking about the stuff that makes you which means poop in Vietnamese. Oh yeah, because it's like that molecule called capsaicin or whatever. That makes like stuff spicy. Am I right? Yeah, well, kinda. Every spicy food doesn't have the molecule capsaicin. For example, mustard. I am obsessed with mustard. Radish, horseradish, and wasabi. They have another ingredient called alloisophilocyanate. And both of these molecules bind to the same pain sensing receptor. Yeah, but I'm not gonna go into that. Okay, actually, I am gonna go into that. But first, let me take a selfie. Oh! But before I do that, I wanna show you guys how my body reacts to capsation. So, in the name of science, I'm gonna do the spicy ramen challenge. challenge, 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 challenge. Last time I ate this was a year ago, and I regret it so much. My booty hole regret it so much. I might as well be a cooking channel or a mukbang channel. I, I really like eating these, but I feel like I'm always a hot mess after I eat them. Oh my god. Now we wait. What's that one TikTok? Now we wait. Now! Grab my hand. Now we wait. We wait for that person. Now! Now! Now we go! Keep holding my hand! Why is your hand <laughs> People always ask me, Darian, why is your microwave on top of your fridge? And here's why. Y'all, this looks so good. This looks so good. Oh, yes. Mm. All right, so I just cooked my two times spicy ramen noodles. Visually, it looks stunning. And I'm ready to eat it. Oh. Bon appetit. It's good, it's not too bad. <clears throat> it went up the wrong hole. Not too bad at all. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm already sweating. Oh my gosh. This is really spicy. <coughs> Maybe if I eat it quickly, it won't be as spicy. That's quick maths. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sweating so much. <coughs> I'm almost there. I'm almost there. This is so. Uh, this is so spicy. It's good. It's not too bad. Uh, all right, so I just finished. My mouth is quivering right now. Educational, Darian. Um, take it away. Uh, I'm not sure you want to drink that, but let me take over, Darian. The reason why we experience such a painful heating sensation is because active molecules like capsaicin bind to the pain-sensing receptor transient receptor potential vanilloid 1, or TRPV1, throughout our body. Even though our body isn't physically in pain, our brain thinks we are. To get rid of this pain, we get a little sweaty, our eyes get watery, and our nose is a little runny. There is a way to relieve this painful burning sensation. I'm sure we're all aware that we shouldn't drink water. Instead, drink milk. Okay, now that I have my milk, exactly why though? To understand why, let's first look at the structure of our friend capsaicin. This area is called the vanillal head. Neck. My back. Live my <laughs> No. The tail. This long tail is, is homophobic. No, it's it's hydrophobic. Meaning it hates, well, it doesn't hate. It is afraid of gay people. Stop, no, it hates water. It hates water. I'm, I'm trying to voice record the next segment, but you keep interrupting me. Stop. Sheesh. And it also means that oily or soapy compounds can act as a detergent to dissolve capsaicin. Milk specifically contains a protein called casein, which serves as a detergent on capsaicin. All right, so we know how to relieve the pain, but why would anyone want to consume capsaicin if they know it's going to be painful? Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn. So according to some studies, scientists believe that certain people enjoy the painful burning sensation similar to how some people enjoy the adrenaline rush when going to a, a haunted house. <laughs> And one study showed a positive association between the frequency of chili consumption and sensation seeking. That's pretty cool. 
Well, what's also really cool is that consuming capsaicin does have some benefits too. One study found that treating mice with capsaicin suppressed liver fat accumulation, which could reduce the risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Another study showed that capsaicin improved cognition in mice and could potentially be used as a therapeutic drug for patients with Alzheimer's disease. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? Now, we're not mice, so sometimes these studies can't really carry over to humans. But at least it does give us a sense of hope, right? Alrighty, you lab rats and kittens, I hope you learned something today. And if you did, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're feeling a little then subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys next time in lab.